you, what am I driving again? I mumbled to myself, as I drove home on my second day with the Nissan Rogue. A totally forgettable driving experience was not a promising beginning to the week, or this review, but fortunately for me, and Nissan, the Rogue has a lot else to offer. The Rogue lacks the driving excitement of some of its competitors, but it is a stylish, capacious, practical, and surprisingly affordable way to transport seven people, U2026 or 126. Five cubic feet of sandwiches. For $28. Oh, 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 crossover. Those are the qualities that actually matter. Particularly when most of the drivers are going to be too busy yelling at their kids to pay attention to a car as personality. You, the previous version of the Rogue always looked a bit like it was wearing a particularly medieval form of braces. But the new edition is all grown up and quite good looking. The nasty grill is gone, replaced with a bold chrome V that unlike other chrome beaks. I am looking at you Acura, manages to be both eye-catching and tasteful. The chrome nose and the LED running lights taken together give the Rogue a surprising amount of presence of a family car. But also Don, T make the car look like it is trying too hard. You, once passed the front end. The Rogue does get a bit more forgettable. It has a nice, high-waisted crease that gives the side profile some interest. But ultimately their ISNT much Nissan S designers could do to hide the fact that the most practical shape for a crossover is a box on top of a larger box. The same too might be said of the interior, which is pleasant but mostly utilitarian. But for the tech, you, one of the Rogue's outstanding features is tech. The mostly, 